I just built this awesome peg shelf. If you're interested in how I did it, and then stay tuned. So I started by measuring the length that I wanted my shelf to be. And then I happened to only have one board uh, sitting in my garage that would work. So I used that piece and cut it down to that size. All right, tell me what you think, you guys. I got my 40 inch piece. This is the piece that I had left over. It is not as long, but you know what? I think it's gonna look good anyways. Tell me what you guys think. So basically, it's gonna look something like this, and it'll be about right there. And then we'll put some coat hooks on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together like this, and I'm gonna countersink and glue and screw them together off of the back side. That way you won't be able to see any of the screws. And we'll add some hooks. together and I was just going to use these hooks but honestly I'm just kind of going for a more modern look. So instead I am going to take this out to my drill press and with the coarser bit I am going to evenly space out um, some circles where I can put some dowels so that they look like pegs and that'll give it a more modern feel. If you don't have access to those kinds of tools then obviously you can just get some more modern hooks or just get regular hooks and put those on instead. So I'm going to do that. sure it's level, screwed in. I'm also going to be using some drywall anchors, which is really important if you don't line up as studs. Um, drywall anchors are going to make sure that your shelf can handle all the weight that's going to be put on it and it's not going to rip holes out of your sheet rock. So make sure to do that and let's get to that. absolutely love how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It really is a pretty simple build. Like I said, if you don't have a drill press, just grab some modern coat hooks and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you next time.